Yes. <laughs> Dr. Mini in the house. All right. <laughs> I appreciate that. The carnivore diet. Because of the meat. Honestly, you've really touched my heart. What about, will we see a, a, a difference according to our cycle? Like the week yes. before, will we have, will, will we ha not manage in glucose as well? How can we use it to have an indication into our own hormonal health? Yeah. And we've seen, you know, thousands of people's data at this point. And one of the things that's really interesting at NutriSense, as you mentioned, is every new customer gets paired with a one-on-one -on -one dietitian. So we get to really work with clients one-on-one -on -one and see their story, understand the nuances. And this is something that is in the research, but we also see with just about everyone is that we tend to have higher glucose levels during the luteal phase of our cycle. Um, so just to lay some groundwork, you know, luteal phase is week three and four. So between ovulation and menstruation. So women typically see their highest glucose values right before their period starts. Why, why do you think that is? Yeah. So it's, most likely the hormonal changes. So lower estrogen levels of progesterone is peaking. And if we think about then what also happens during menopause when estrogen is low is that that leads to higher glucose values. So in general, estrogen tends to have a direct effect on insulin sensitivity. So it's involved in actually in the beta cells in the pancreas on insulin release and our insulin sensitivity, which helps us dispose of that glucose is increased when estrogen is higher. Um, and it also has a role in glycogen turnover. So um, glycogen is our stored form of glucose. We can do it in the muscles and in the liver. And when estrogen is higher, we tend to have better glycogen turnover, meaning that we can use that stored glucose for energy and we can store some when we need it rather than it being in circulation. Um, so there's research on this that it's harder to tap into those stored glucose stores um, in those lower lower estrogen phases. So that yeah. also leads to higher glucose levels. Yeah, and I love this because our resetters, they I've been teaching them how to fast according to their cycle. And I always say that in the follicular phase in that first half, you, you can go keto, you can fast, like estrogen wants you to be mm -hmm. insulin sensitive. It's really, you'll see those numbers go down, you'll be more effective, but as you come out of ovulation, then you really need to mind your progesterone and you actually were designed to eat more carbs there. There's a reason in order to build progesterone, you need to be able to eat more carbs. So it's interesting that you are already seeing that in, in how the body is, is using glucose because it needs to have, I believe, a higher glucose in order to make progesterone. Would, it, would you agree with that? Yeah, and I think that's definitely true. And some people see this effect more dramatically than others too. So some women will see like just like a five or 10 point increase in glucose levels, or some see a much more dramatic. And I think that also correlates pretty well of like how the side effects you have and how affected you seem to be from the hormonal shifts. Um, but many women see this as well, the, you know, just like you're saying of when we're in that phase, it's higher glucose levels. And if you understand the physiology, it starts to make sense that there's probably a reason that our bodies are doing these things. It's not usually random or for right. no reason. <laughs> right. And we crave carbs for a particular yeah, reason. Like they're higher. Yeah, all these things that we villainize and like, oh, I got PMS. It's actually our body doing exactly what it needs to do. A lot of women missing yeah. their periods don't know when they ovulate. Could you use a CGM to be able to tell that? It's possible. You know, we haven't used it for that application. I think if you can track it well enough, there's, there's certainly a correlation. Like we definitely see that increase.